Welcome ladies and gentlemen to day two of our Alaskan Disney Cruise Line adventure. It is a day at sea today, so we're gonna be spending some time relaxing on board the ship. We're gonna take part in some Disney trivia, give you guys a closer look at some of the Alaska exclusive merchandise available on board the ship, and dress in our best for formal night. We have all that in today's video and so much more up next. <laughs> This is our view this morning from the starboard side of the ship as we wake up on day two. Also, we have a friend. <laughs> a pilot bow is coming up alongside the ship and I think we're dropping off a few of our Canadian friends because the captain made an announcement about something last night where we needed to drop off some Canadian friends. We're gonna watch this pilot boat pull up alongside the ship, see some people get off and then it'll turn around and head on back to Canada. And now, time for breakfast at Triton's. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with these smoked salmon because you can never go wrong with salmon. I'm also gonna get some Mickey waffles with an Eggs Benedict and the DCL Express, which has scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage, hash browns, and a grilled tomato. All right, we're starting things off strong with some salmon. I know it's not Alaskan salmon, but when you're in the area, you might as well get some. Next up, we have our Eggs Benedict with salmon. And then right next door, I have the DCL Express with no eggs and two Mickey waffles. Everything looks and smells amazing. Okay, so we just left breakfast and we're taking a look outside right now. It looks like we're um, out in the Caribbean, <laughs> in the middle of the ocean. But you can just faintly see some of the mountains and stuff in the background. I know the camera's gonna focus on the dirtiness of the window on the outside. I like the kelp. <laughs> the kelp, is that what that is? There's a little piece of yeah. Oh, yeah, little piece of kelp. <laughs> this is to be expected on your second day. Oh, there's a little tiny boat out there. Okay, so we're inside the French Quarter Lounge right now. We're getting ready for Villains Coast Trivia, but I just wanted to talk about breakfast real quick. You have several options when it comes to breakfast on board the ship. You can either do the room service breakfast, you can go down to the main dining room, or you could do cabanas. Now, we decided to go down to the main dining room, and one thing that I just want to point out, it did take a little bit longer than we anticipated. However, that's what you have to expect when you go down to breakfast at the main dining room. You're going down there for the service and to have a more cool, calm, and relaxed service. However, the trade-off is you need to have a little bit more patience. That's to be expected because the ship is 100% at capacity and that dining room was very crazy, very full, and very busy. You can tell that the servers were just a little bit stressed, but the food came out, everything tasted delicious, and you know, it was a nice, calm, relaxing atmosphere. When you go up to Cabana's, yeah, you're able to go up and get whatever you want and be in and out of there real quick, but it's just a lot more crazy, a lot more hectic. You have to find a table. All of that's taken care of at the main dining room for you. So there are some trade-offs, but it's just something to think about when you're here on your vacation. All right, babe, villain quotes trivia. How do you think we're gonna do? Pretty good. Do you think we're gonna win? No. No? <laughs> no. Not a shot? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. We'll see what happens. I think we'll get at least 15, right? If there's 20 questions, I think we'll get at least 15, yeah. right? Yeah. We'd hope so. <laughs> I love the way your thou little mind works. God of the underworld. I'm a very big hothead. All right. Yeah, Who thinks say. they're two for two so far? Woo! Going strong. I guess. Okay. A couple of teams. We're, we're going to move on to number three now. No, no, no. Can't be. I distinctly remember your birthday was last year. <laughs> oh, look, another glorious morning makes me sick. That's number four. Oh, look, another glorious morning makes me sick. Number five is going to be a little bit longer. I'll turn him into a flea, a harmless little flea, and then I'll put that flea in a box, and then I'll put that box inside another box, and then I'll mail that box to myself, and when it arrives, I'll have it. I should with I a hammer. Think I should that one. <laughs> you guys want to know what medallion you're playing for this morning? Yes. Yes, of course. Well, you guys are going to be playing for that Chippendale medallion. Ooh, Don't get your hopes up. They might throw some curveballs on us. All of our trivia and all of our game shows have those different opportunities to win those different characters. I'm still not even sure about number one. Send to all of our activities. We're not cheating. Kind of ask the crew staff. The all right, well, let's move on to number six. Welcome to Sunnyside, folks. Oh. That is quotes number six. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off for now. We'll let you know how we do at the end. A literal perfect score. Perfect score. 30 out of 30. Oh my god, we might have to go to a tiger. But there's gotta be another team out there that has a perfect score. All right, guys, take a look at that. We have our Chip and Dale medals. I can't believe we got a perfect score. I, I was not expecting to get a perfect score. <laughs> okay, so now that things have calmed down just a little bit from how they were last night, let's go ahead inside the gift shops and show you guys what the exclusive Alaska merchandise looks like. Decided to come outside after meeting Stitch and uh, yeah, pretty windy and pretty cold. The temperature definitely dropped, holy cow. The further up north we go, the colder it gets. I don't know if that's fog down there or what because the clouds are kind of down low. Could be fog, but oh my goodness. <laughs> Way too cold for me. We're gonna walk down just a little bit and then go back inside. <laughs> that was not worth it. <laughs> Ooh, take a look at that. Moana's over there meeting and greeting guests. Very far away from Hawaii or Polynesia, that's for sure. We have made it up to the top deck in search of some hot chocolate. Coda really wanted some hot chocolate, so we're gonna go get her some. Ah, yes, sweet hot chocolate. The nectar of the gods up here in Alaska. Ever ready for question number one? Yeah. Awesome. What year did the Walt Disney World Resort open? On what Disney attraction can you ride a super stretched limo through a giant donut sign? Number three, name one of the two countries that were not in the World Showcase at Epcot when it opened in 1982. How much did it cost to build Disneyland in 1955? Number five, who is the host of the 3D show, It's Tough to Be a Bug? Well, that was definitely a lot tougher this time around. We only got 17 questions right out of 25, and the winning team got 24 questions. So, yeah, definitely much tougher when it's not multiple choice. Also, I want to give you guys a little pro tip about the hot chocolate. So the hot chocolate on deck, it's made with water. So if you're more of a fan of like a creamier hot chocolate, what I did was I took this cup and right next to the hot chocolate machine is the half and half and whole milk. I filled this up, well not fill it up, but I put a little bit of whole milk in here, like right about to here, and then I filled the rest with the hot chocolate. It came out really nice, really creamy. So just a bit of a pro tip for you guys. All right, a very last minute decision from Coda. We are here in Tiana's place for lunch because they have a molten lava cake that she really enjoyed on The Wish and she wants to have it here. So this will be our first time in the restaurant. because last year when we were on day two of our cruise we did the inside passage and we sailed through this narrow passage in between some mountains and we were so close to the mountains on either side and the scenery was absolutely beautiful and we're not getting that today i think the captain mentioned over the intercom yesterday that they had scheduled times for ships to go through a narrow pass that only one ship could sail at a time and I think he mentions that we were going to do it at like 1 o'clock in the morning. Like it was going to be really early where it was going to be pitch black outside. We weren't going to be able to see anything. I think we did that this morning and we sailed out of it at like 6. But it's 
kind of bumming me out because this is our view the entire day. Just nothing but open water, you know? Not really any mountains, no no scenery. We might as well be out in the Caribbean, honestly, minus the cold. But, you know, kind of disappointing because I really wanted Coda to see that. It was something really nice that we got to see during the day. I just figured it was something that we automatically did on every Alaska cruise that we did that passage during the day. But I'm kind of bummed about that. On the plus side, though, I finally see some land. There's some mountains over there. Later. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it is about three hours later. <laughs> We decided to take a two hour nap back in the room since there was really nothing to watch outside. There wasn't a whole lot happening inside on board the ship. So we wanted to catch up on some of our sleep and take a nap. But as you guys can see, we are all dressed and ready to go because tonight is formal night. Now I know on our last Alaskan cruise, we fumbled formal night real hard. We did not get the message and we were so underdressed, but now we are not letting that happen. We are all dressed up and ready to go. We're gonna head on down to the captain's reception and get some free alcoholic beverages before dinner. Let's go ahead and go guys. Also, before we head on down, I just want to show you guys our view out the balcony this evening. Not really sure if that's Alaska or not. It might be, but either way, it's very pretty. And it's nice to come out here and to see these mountains, especially some of the snow-capped ones over there too. All right, we have made it down to the captain's reception. And as you guys can see, it is quite busy down here. Lots of folks in their formal wear wanting to get their fancy Alaska pictures. So typically on seven night itineraries, the captain's reception and formal night happens on night two of your sailing. This is gonna be your opportunity to dress up in your formal wear. You'll be able to go down to the main atrium, take your pictures with some of the Disney characters in their formal wear, and take some family photos in front of some very fancy backdrops. This is also gonna be one of the few opportunities on your sailing where you can take advantage of some free alcohol. All right, those pictures definitely took a little bit longer to take, but we are now on our way to dinner at Animator's Palette. We're just a little late. And by a little, I mean a lot. All right, we made it inside Animator's Palette. Let's go ahead and take a look at the menu. All right, here's a look at the menu for Animator's Palette, and I'm very surprised that they don't have the regional inspirations on the menu anymore like they did last year for the Alaska sailings. We asked our waiter about it, but I'm gonna be honest, I could not understand what he was saying about it. But it's it's just a shame that they're that they're gone. But anyways, you guys can go ahead and pause the video if you want to take a look at the menu. You already know that we are getting the black truffle pasta per set. Also, those lines on the screen, there is absolutely nothing I can do about that. They keep changing. It's the frame rate of the lights. We have our soups and salads over here. We have our bread service. I really love the garlic and herb focaccia bread. We have our main courses over here. I'm going to be grabbing that herb crusted pork chop because the last time I had it, it was really good. And here are the vegetarian offerings and the lighter notes as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our first appetizer has arrived. The coveted black truffle pasta from Animator's Palette. Honestly, the best thing on any Disney Cruise Line ship. You can't tell me otherwise. All right, guys, we got something a little bit different. We have the deep fried brie. Now, because of the lack of regional offerings on the menu, we didn't lose our deep fried brie. So we were at Palo last night. We were supposed to be at Triton's. We didn't get to go to Triton's, so I never got my deep fried brie. So now I'm getting it tonight. So I'm really excited. Our main course has arrived. This is the herb breaded pork chop. Oh my gosh. It looks amazing, smells amazing. I've had it before. It's a, definitely a favorite of mine over here at Animator's Palace. And this is something very different. My mom got the vegetarian option, which is a black bean cake with whole grain rice or something with corn underneath it. That's very different, but the presentation's really nice.
right, folks, here is a look at the dessert menu. Over here, you have your specialty drinks and coffees. And over here, we have our desserts, crunchy walnut cake, cheesecake, cookies and cream sundae, sticky day pudding. We also have our specialty desserts as well, and no sugar added. And dessert has been served. We have the cookies and cream sundae. And oddly enough, take a look at that. I have a pirate Mickey. <laughs> okay, so recap on dinner. Everything was really good. I've said it before on the channel, but I'll say it again now for all the new viewers. A general rule of thumb for me is if I don't specifically say I didn't like something, then that means it was good. So if something's not good, I'm gonna tell you guys straight up but everything that we had here today was really good. The pork chop was amazing, and the dinner service was quick, which I really loved. Quite a big difference from our last cruise where we were in the dining rooms for upwards of two hours plus on almost every night of the cruise. Today, we got here at about six o'clock. It's going on 7.15 now. We're done with our desserts, and we're heading on out. Very well-paced service, very quick. I loved it. Okay, so some of you folks who have been sailing with Disney Cruise Line for quite a while, do you remember when Animator's Palette used to backlight these walls? Because these walls over here, if you look, they're holy. They've got a bunch of holes because there's another wall behind it. And they used to, during the show, light up the wall behind this one to make it look all sparkly and yellow and orange. And you can kind of faintly see it if you look through. But, yeah, they don't do that anymore. And it kind of sucks. Also, Rare Rabbit representation. <laughs> Just a reminder guys, throughout your cruise, go ahead and stop by Shutters and take a look at your family photos. Make sure that they came out right. Make sure you don't need to retake any photos, especially if you have the photo package. Definitely take advantage. The ship is listing from side to side and it's been so entertaining walking down the hallways and seeing people lean from side to side in unison. It's been so funny. And here's our towel animal for the evening. Uh, and Coda's saying it's a goose. I think it's like a little dove type thing because it's because swans are typically bigger, right? It's a bird. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we came back inside the room for just a little bit so we can change before going to the Golden Mickeys. But I just want to show you how awesome this weather is. Look at how nice the water is as well. Even though it's really rocky, the boat's definitely doing this number and you can definitely feel it. But, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Now, I just want to point out that we're on the starboard side and we're getting this mountain view. If you're on the port side right now, you have absolutely nothing. We are like, this is Pacific Ocean right here, like literal Pacific Ocean. And that's like coastline over there. So, yeah, just an example of what you can get as far as views are concerned on the starboard side. All right, baby, you ready for the Golden Mickeys? Yeah. Let's go. On our way to the Walt Disney Theater for the Golden Mickeys and take a look at these banners that they set up. I love this. Take a look at this whole setup that they have here for the Golden Mickeys. They have some of the awards right here, a Golden Mickeys rug. They have some step and repeats as well. Now, prior to the show, they bring a host out here and they interview people, kind of like the Oscars. Go ahead, take a picture. One, two, three. This is Alaska Chic, by the way. <laughs> Rocking it, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are adorable. Hello there, I'm Ensign Benson, the stage manager, and you are in for a treat tonight. We've got a really great lineup, I know Goofy's on his way, Mickey's going to be here, our own Captain Thorne's going to host, it's going to be a great show. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Ensign Benson, we'll see you inside. Hello. Uh, yes. Yes, you are? Oh my god. You're doing a good word for me. I, I will. I the editor a package, but I don't think you got it. It was hmm. some gray stuff. Okay. Yeah, I heard it was delicious. delicious. I'll make sure to double check with them. Okay. <laughs> make sure you get the gray stuff. I love this whole little setup over here. This is all part of the story leading up to the show. If you guys are heading into the Walt Disney Theater, make sure you stop on by Preludes to get some popcorn and beverages. Unfortunately, nothing here is included. Everything is an added charge but you can get some great movie theater quality popcorn and they have some awesome popcorn buckets as well. All right, guys, we are inside the Walt Disney Theater for the Golden Mickeys. Make sure you guys get here nice and early because space does fill up very quickly. Hi there, Mr. 
Tiger, sir. You can call me Bob. So how's it going, Ensign Benson? Everything's fine, sir. I mean, Bob. Hands out there, living in the sun. Give me one day out there. Sun of metal to the sky. Does your spirit say? Ella Deville, Cruella Deville. If she doesn't scare you, no evil thing will. Ladies and gentlemen, the Golden Mickey's just ended. It's currently 9.30 in the evening right now, and this is how bright it is. I said it the last time we were here in Alaska, and I'll say it again, I'm not used to this. <laughs> there is no reason for it to be this bright, but the weather is just so flipping beautiful. Haven't seen any whales yet. Coda's been doing her whale calls and trying her best <laughs> to get them <laughs> to show up, but um, I, don't, I don't think it's working. We still have plenty of time, though. It's okay. We will see some whales for sure. But also at the same time, we haven't exactly spent too much time out here looking around. But let me ask you, what did you think of the Golden Mickeys? It was cool. It was cool? Is it like your cup of tea? Like, do you see yourself seeing it again? Because I know that show isn't for everybody. It's a very slow burn at the beginning. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> no, you, you don't, you don't want to see it again? No. It's okay. It's not for everybody. I personally like it. But at least you saw it once. Yeah. Yo, Flounder, are you good, bro? Blink twice if you need help. What in the world is wrong with you? Sebastian as well. Sebastian already blinked. So what the heck? <laughs> what is wrong with these two? <laughs> All right, time now is officially 10 o'clock. Let's head on over into the after hours adult only section and get a spot for a match your mates. If you guys know us, you know that we look forward to this show all cruise long. Now, just a reminder, guys, Match Your Mate is an adult-only show. Right now, it's being shown at 10.30. Make sure you guys get here early because space will fill up quickly, and this is a one-time-only thing during the cruise. It is very, very fun, highly worth it. If you guys are looking for a great adult-only time, definitely come down here early. We're here at 10 o'clock. So I'm going to plant a parrot in your bedroom, okay? Yes. A parrot in your bedroom. And as we know, parrots are known to repeat phrases, words, sounds, all that jazz, okay? So after a week of this parrot living in your bedroom, what is this parrot repeating by the end of the week, okay? All right, final question is, I want you to tell me, where is the craziest, most wildest, most exotic place, maybe unique place that you all have ever discovered, the magic. <laughs> the magic. You know, like, the magic. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, mom found her first duck of the cruise. Look at you. Well. Coda found one too. I'm the only one who hasn't found one. <laughs> I hate everything right now. She she walks out the elevator and finds another one. Oh my god. Now I'm really disappointed. <laughs> Made it back to the room. It's just after midnight. And take a look at that. There's still a little bit of light outside. That is wild. Holy cow. I think this is the latest I've ever stayed up on an Alaskan cruise. 
and uh, the fact that there's still this much light is crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and with that, day two has come to a close of our Alaskan Disney Cruise Line vacation. I am still pretty disappointed that we didn't get those beautiful inside passage views that we got on our last voyage, but it's all right. I can't complain too much because we're still going to Alaska, and we're still going to have an amazing time, and we still have plenty of opportunities for more incredible views. If you guys want to see those inside passage views that we got in our last trip, go ahead and click the link down in the description below. I'll leave the video link there, so that way you guys can check that out. And while you're at it, check out those other Alaska videos too. Just binge watch the entire series if you guys want to catch up on everything that we did on the last trip to everything that we're referencing on this trip as well. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Leave a like if you enjoyed as it greatly helps out the channel. Subscribe if you are new around here and ring that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new Alaska videos in the future. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.